The next article is from Infowars.com. Romney operatives caught handing out fake ballots in Nevada and Maine. Attempts to divide and disrupt official Ron Paul delegate slates. Romney sends in lawyer that stole election for Bush in 2000. So there is all sorts of chicanery going on, and the media is going to spin this that Ron Paul's trying to steal with the delegates the popular vote. Listen, Ron Paul won Iowa. That's now been admitted. He won Maine. That's been admitted. They've basically admitted he won Nevada and other areas. They stole the early states so they could say he wasn't a front runner and have shoved Romney in there. So I think it's great that Ron Paul is going to disrupt the convention and go in there and try to inject some sanity. But uh, we've got the video in the article. It's pretty amazing to watch the, the footage of all of this. Now, we've warned you about this over and over again. So right now, I want to go to a clip of candidate Obama four years ago saying to the San Francisco Chronicle on video, we're going to bankrupt coal. Now, remember, that's, that's all cute when you're trending and stuff until you realize that that's 51% of our power. And when you understand China builds three a week, we don't get three new ones a year. And then you understand that General Electric and others are exempt from the rules because they wrote the new regulations. Congress said, we're not going to pass a law. You can't do this. Obama said, I don't care. I'll launch wars if I want, and I'll shut down power plants. They've told us we're going to have a 80% increase stepped up over the next two years of our power bills in Austin. And they said it's for the earth. No, it's, it's for the bankers. It's just a corporate tax. There's more than one way to tax you. These bankers, these globalists get your money directly through government scams. And here's the headline, sky-high electric bills, courtesy of Obama's EPA war on coal, and it has already begun. Here's a quote under my plan on cap-and-trade system. Electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket, candidate Barack Obama. Uh, here's another one of his quotes from the San Francisco Chronicle. So if somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them because they are going to be charged a huge sum for all that greenhouse gas they are uh, emitting. Oh, really? Uh, carbon dioxide? Nothing comes out of the new plants but carbon dioxide and water vapor. We're not, they're not worried about Fukushima still melting down or GMO. No, no, no. Let's just shut down the power plants. Let's just shut down America. That's the globalist plan. Here's the clip. Obama hit struggling Americans with energy rate hikes. Following Barack Obama's vow to bankrupt the coal power industry, Americans are set to be hit with a wave of utility bill hikes as draconian EPA regulations drive up the cost of energy. So if somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them because they're going to be charged a huge sum for all that uh, greenhouse gas that's being emitted. The Obama administration's crusade against coal-fired power plants, which was launched on the back of discredited junk science about hyped global warming threats, has little to do with improving the environment and everything to do with lowering living standards by creating artificial scarcity. The EPA has now listed as harmful carbon dioxide that is part of the life cycle of the planet. New EPA rules dictate that utility companies will be forced to spend an initial outlay of $800 million to conform with regulations that mandate harmful emissions be reduced under the Clean Air Act. And yet power plants supplied by General Electric, one of Barack Obama's biggest campaign contributors, have received an EPA waiver and will not be subject to the new regulations. The new rules will exacerbate the problem of rolling blackouts, warns Donna Nelson, head of the Texas Public Utility Commission. Nelson said, quote, I have no doubt in my mind that this rule will result in reliability issues and rolling outages in Texas. Obama's strict enforcement of draconian EPA regulations has led to new clean-burning coal-fired plants being mothballed and other existing ones being shut down which has in turn led to Texas and other states becoming energy dependent. All of this, of course, will lead to significantly higher utility bills for U.S. citizens who are being assaulted with more and more expenses even as the threat of a double-dip recession lowers living standards. And that's a report we did, what, eight months ago when we were first launching InfoWars Nightly News. 
and now we see the continued effects. And a lot of people are like, hey, it's for the earth to make General Electric more money and massively increase power prices. And it's for the earth to ship with tens of billions of your taxpayer money. You paid to ship most of the manufacturing facilities and the new factories they were gonna build here for General Motors overseas, Eastern Europe, China, Brazil, and Mexico. How do you like that? That's globalist sabotage. Thank you, New World Order, for all you do. And the sucker yuppies, they like it. They want to thank you for the increases in cancer, and all the autism, and everything else. They love you hurting them. Thank you, New World Order. What you're doing is so sweet and so wonderful. We're going to uh, go to break here in a moment and come back with Rob Dew, our reporter, interviewing Pepe Escobar on... Mr. Holland, the new savior of France, who will make sure the taxes get raised to pay to the offshore bankers. So that is uh, coming up. But I thought I'd give you a quote by another extremist, Mahatma Gandhi, to deprive a man of his natural liberty and to deny him the ordinary amenities of life is worse than starving the body. It is starvation of the soul, the dweller in the body. If you believe in this information and want to support its viral spread. Go to the InfoWars store at InfoWars.com. We've got the new G.I. Joe InfoWars t-shirts. We've got the incredible ProPure gravity-fed filters available at InfoWars.com in the store. We've got a new DVD, Sinus Under Attack, the Don't Tread on Me flag. We've got all sorts of different bumper stickers to help spread the rebellion virally. It's all there. Wristbands, citizen rule books in every order. Order online at InfoWars.com today. The water filters, the canteens, it's all there. InfoWars.com. <laughs> 